Y'all know how we do. The same kind of breakfast every day. Muffin. Hey guys. I'm trying to get some lighting. Oh, that's too bright. I never know where to go for the best lighting. Oh yeah, so. You guys didn't really leave comments in my last video. I didn't get any really responses in the comments about it. Um, so if you guys aren't interested, I won't do it, but please let me know, okay? Um, but yeah, so today I am about to go to Goodwill. I um, actually was watching Raven Elise, um, her latest DIY video. She has like two of them up so far, but she said she was going to upload another one. I really like her. I didn't meet her, but I saw her in New Orleans like two years ago. I saw her at... The design essentials party and she was so gorgeous then I remember all this drama with her happening and then like behind the scenes I was like rooting for her I don't know it was a lot of drama going on with her but I'm just so proud of her because she, now it's like nothing ever happened and she she back on her grind <laughs> and I love that like I was silently rooting for her like I can't even imagine what she was going through but anyway I said all of that to say this um that i'm going to goodwill to try to find some like nice pieces so i can jazz them up because that's what she did and i used to go to goodwill all the time but i stopped going to them but i was inspired so raven if you see this video thank you for the inspiration and i just want to like applaud you for getting it together and showing all these haters that you are bigger than that we're going to goodwill Mom. Well, we're going to get a snack first. Yes. Yeah, Taylor and Sky are hungry. Yes, we are. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the Goodwill that I used to shop at. I stopped shopping at Goodwill because I found out some stuff about them as far as like the CEO and all those, you know, the people up top and then how they treat their employees and how they're just making. I mean, I think they're a multi-million or maybe an even multi-billion dollar company. I mean, it's a hustle. They making money off of free stuff. But, yeah, I stopped shopping there because of that. But, but it's a donation center. I know. So, if they donate the clothes, they should keep the prices low. Because Mom, they're selling... But they haven't been keeping their prices low lately. Like, their prices have been ridiculous. And that's the part I don't like. Because if it's a goodwill, everything's donated. It's a donation center. Right. So the On prices. The side, it's a donation center. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving. Every minute, every day, I've been craving and I don't want to get you out of my system No Cause I like the way it feels when you touch me You got me, you got me good You got me, you got me good Oh, babe All I'm thinking about is all right, so we're finally at Goodwill, and the first spot I love to go to is the head wraps. Everyone asks where I get them, and that's where I get them. Next, I go to the men's section because oversized tees are like my favorite. I wear them as t-shirts, of course, and as a dress lately since the Kim Kardashian, you know, t-shirt, thigh-high boots, um, choker trend has been um, in style. And what I look for is I definitely think of colors. I love grays, of course, white, and like the burgundy, the green, tan, all of those colors. So I look for colors. That's how I like spot something I like. I also look for the quality and also the brand of the t-shirt. As you can see, this is J. Crew. Old Navy has amazing cotton blend t-shirts and also this is a Target brand again nice quality um, material here's American Eagle the next spot I go to is of course the jackets I always find amazing denim jackets I have no idea why people give away denim 
um, especially because they're so classic like they never go out of style especially if it's not a weird like shape and if the stitching is right like I didn't like that um copper stitching no I just like white stitching so next I go for the faux fur pieces I always find really cute faux fur jackets and as you can see these are all different colors so I can grab all of these they're nice quality I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and I will have more coming soon an official Goodwill thrift store haul I don't want to get you out of my system no, cause I like the way it feels when you touch me You got me, you got me good You got me, you got me good Oh babe, all I'm thinking about is when you come around You got me, you got me What'd you say, Sky? Say it again. Come here. Turn to mommy. damage today you guys I guess I will have to show you what we got look at this big bag and then I went back again and got this jean jacket who wants a haul really fast then really get your treat Devin I got me a sewing machine like a long time ago and I haven't used it I think I used it maybe once or twice, but I pulled it out because all the stuff that I got from Goodwill, I want to spice it up, add some things. My, <laughs> um, ooh, my sewing machine, and it literally was dusty, like it was real dusty, y'all. <laughs> you can get in the chair. Why don't you, put, why don't you start to put your feet in here? Like, I'm always first for some reason. It's probably because I always sit in my seat. <laughs> I'm staying in the whole You need to puff. Hold this. Dust it off. I'm going to get you a heavy. Alright, so I will have an official Goodwill haul in a separate video, but I couldn't leave y'all hanging. I took y'all shopping with me, so I do want to show you some of the pieces that I picked up. As you saw, I got that black hoodie, and now this dress, and this jacket. Yo, that jacket is so dope. This is a scarf, but I'm going to wear it as like a cape. This is the denim jacket I picked out. I mean, look at it. It's stunning. It's not nothing wrong with this jacket at all. Like, usually I can find something that I'm like, uh, but it's perfect. So I went with a sporty theme. So most of the things I got are real, like, laid-back, chill items. This is another denim jacket. It's black. I'm about to freak that jacket out. I cannot wait. It's going to be a video coming, too. But these are all the items I got. But to see the details, you have to watch my haul. And I will let you know when that goes up. Really thin. 
fit. I'm trying to film here. You're messing up my background. So I attempted to record my haul. That didn't work out. So I'll do that tomorrow, y'all. I'm tired. Yeah, whenever you find a spot, yell, I, I, here's a spot. Oh my God. Guys, if you have a dog and you know what you have to do, you have the chores and stuff, you should know what to do. But to all the kids that don't have dogs, you will have chores. I'm gonna make a schedule for like every morning. I think, 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 I like, cause we don't get out till three, cause there's this long line, and all the kids in the gym do not listen. The kids in our school at the gym, and they do not listen to their number. That's why I take. Napkin. Just wipe it on the carpet. Let me wipe it on the spot. Let me do it. Let me do this. Sky. No. This is my job. Sky, give it to her. I don't want to scrub. Sorry, you should have. You should have said no. Go get one out of the um kitchen. No, that one's more. Go get easier. one out the kitchen. Two things to do. All right, read us the problem. So we're right here, right? 
Mm -hmm. What number is four tens and twelve ones? All right, with four tens, put this many fingers up and count by tens on here. Ready? Here. So you have that many, so count by tens on those fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40. So what's four tens? 40. Good, now write 40. All right, what's the next number? It says 12. 12 ones, right? Mm -hmm. So, so put 10 four, plus put, 2 equals 12. Put 40 plus 12. 40 plus Wow. Equals. What's four plus one? Four plus one equals five. All right. So write a five on equal after equal. All right. Now let's add the second digit. What's zero plus two? Two. Good. Now write two after the five. So what's forty plus twelve? Fifty-two. Good. So I'm going to be reading the hole in Harry's pocket. All right, start reading. So I'm just going to show you. Harry looked in the refrigerator. Mom, he called. There's no milk. You'll have to go to the store and get some. Pit, said his mother. Here's the money. Put it in your pocket so you don't lose it. Harry put the money in his pocket. Then he picked up his toy car and his lucky ring and his whistle, he put them in his pocket too. He liked to walk to the store. He liked to hop on the curb. He liked to look in all the windows and crack and count crack crooks. Cracks. Cracks. I was right the first time, right? Mm-hmm. And count cracks in the, on the sidewalk. He got the milk, but when he looked in his, for his money, it was gone. What could he do? Looks like he has purple hair. That's so weird. I don't notice that. Still purple. <laughs> he put the milk back. He stared, he started to walk back home. Then he saw something on the sidewalk. It was a red toy car. Hmm, Harry thought, that looks like my toy car, the one I had in my pocket. He picked it up. Then Harry saw something near the curb. It was a shiny so, silver. silver ring. That looks like my lucky thing, he thought. The one I had in my pocket. He picked it up. I was about to turn back. You're good at reading. Next, Harry saw a toy whistle. Looks like my pocket. No, what? He looks. That looks like my my whistle. He thought the one I had in my pocket. He picked it up too. Then Harry saw some money. Harry, Harry. It was just the money that I gave him. Harry put the the money. Harry picked up the money. I the money. He held the money tightly and ran the rest of the way home. Did you have a nice trip to the store? Asked his mother. I sure did, said Harry. Good, said his mother. So where's the milk? He forgot the milk. <laughs> okay. So what it was all about is a boy who didn't have um, in his home he didn't have milk in the refrigerator. Then has a pencil. So all it was about is a hole in in his pocket. That's why the title is called the hole in Harry's pocket. Well, you can see that he has black and purple. I think he dyed his hair or something. <laughs> but
Okay, y'all. We have our own phones now. Oh no, they already know that. Just say your good night. Good night. Down there, y'all guess these. Oh yeah, somebody asked what kind of phones do you have? Taylor, what kind of we phone do you have? I have a iPhone SE and I have an iPhone 6. 5. 5. And That's I my have, old phone. And I dare y'all. Yeah. I dare y'all to guess this. I don't want to get you out of my system No Cause I like the way it feels when you touch me You got me, you got me good You got me, you got me good Turn it off for a second, put your necklace on Okay. I have some chicken right there. What's this game? I know how to make potato wedges. Taylor, you need to put Ted that wedge. costume up. Taylor, Taylor, I make them bake potato wedges. Taylor, if you don't listen, I'm taking the phone. Wait, wait till he jumps up. Boo, <gasps> you better jump! For Christmas, the chicken in this sweater and hot to date. Call him, Taylor. Come here, buddy. Come here, dude. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. about to die but I wanted to give you guys an update with their phone I knew that a lot of people would have questions or concerns about Taylor and Sky having a phone but they have been doing pretty well and as a mom I will tell you guys the obvious con and then the obvious pros and there's definitely more pros than cons um first of all the con of course is their communication skills you at first glance or first thought you think that they're not going to communicate properly they're going to um want to type and text instead of actually talking um but i haven't seen that you know text text and writing down things is it's expressing yourself it's more it's it's a form of communication and it's very effective in my opinion like I've been I've been blown away by their text messages and also they text Devin and I all the time I have to read you some of the texts that they sent me it opened up a whole new door of communication um I'll read you some of me and Skylar's so Skylar wrote to me she put I love you so much Oh, um, my camera is about to die, so I'm going to say goodbye just in case it dies. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Um, 
it wasn't too much hopefully it's enough footage but yeah we'll see you maybe this week maybe next week who knows but thank you guys so much for watching and in the comments let us know what was your favorite part of the vlog um also give us some ideas on what you want the next vlog topic to be um but anyway so skyler says um love you so much i can sleep oh yeah. hey do y'all see oh do you see this dude? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to insert this snap of him. Remember when he was licking your head? Yeah, so look. Uh, what are we talking about? Just say goodnight. Oh. Kevin just got home. I just got home. 